Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. And when you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then, let's go down low. Touch your toes. Now, go back up high again, reach for the sky, and this time, can we go tippy-toe high? And when we're there, let's have a wave side to side. And then back down one more time to touch your toes. Excellent, guys. And now, hands on hips, let's have a wiggle. Side to side, let's have a wiggle. Stop. Another wiggle, side to side. Another wiggle, stop. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and stop. And now we'll go round and round. Round and round. And stop. Back the other way. Back the other way to stretch your spines. And stop. And to finish, we're going to do five jumps straight up. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So lately, we've begun learning about living things. Living things. Yes. And who can tell me what type of living things have we been learning about recently? Animals. Not animals, plants. Yes, we've been learning about plants. So how do we spell plants, guys? P-L-A-N-T-S. Plants. Plants. <laughs> Very good. And in the previous lesson, we learned all about the different types or the different parts of the plants and how they all have different actions and roles and responsibilities. And what we'll do now is we'll do a board exercise to recap and demonstrate our students' knowledge of the different parts of the plant. So first of all, I'll ask my students to close their eyes. Then I'm going to draw the first part of a plant and I'll invite a student forward to see if they can remember what it is.
Okay, so our first student has her pen, it's Nadia. So I've drawn a part of the plant on the board. And it's the part of the plant that goes into the soil and keeps the plant in place. What do we call it, guys? Roots. Roots. R. R. <laughs> o. Another O. T. S. Yes, remember plural, guys, because there's lots of roots, we use S. If there was just one, we'd say root. But because there's more than one, roots. Excellent. Nadia, one more time. Roots. Perfect. Big high five and round of applause for Nadia. Okay, so now onto our next part of the plant. So let's close our eyes, guys, and then let's see what we have. So now let's see who can be our next student to demonstrate our next part of the plant. Pangpon, can you come and join me at the front, please? So you can see I've drawn the main part of the plant that goes up through the soil, the stem. Yes, remember, the stem is like the skeleton of the plant because it transports everywhere else. So how do we spell stem, guys? S. T E M. Bang bang. That's perfect. So one more time. Stem. Stem. Bang bang. Can you say stem. stem? Stem. Stem. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Bang bang. Okay. So that's two parts of our plan to go. I think we've got another three. So let's see, guys. Let's close our eyes. Okay, let's open our eyes. Who has the pen now? It's Down's turn. So let's see. What can we see on our plant now, guys? Remember the green parts of the plant that collect the water? Leaf. Excellent. Now there's only one, so we'll spell it leaf. Singular. L-E-A-F. L E. A, F. Excellent, Sam. That's brilliant. If it's singular, we have one leaf. However, if there is more than one leaf, we will say leaves. Okay? So part of our plant, one leaf, two leaves. And down, that's brilliant. High five, big round of applause for down. So you can see now our drawing is starting to look a lot like a plant. But we're not finished yet. There's other bits to do. So let's close our eyes again, guys. Okay, and now it's Pat's turn to demonstrate our next part of our plant. Pat, come and join me at the front, please. Now, it's often the prettiest part of our plant. Flower. Flower, yes, that's right. Remember, our flowers are many different colours. But how do we spell flower, guys? F L O W E R. Excellent. And because there's only one, we say flower. flower. Yes. One more time, Pat. Flower. flower. That's brilliant. Well done. High five and a big round of applause for Pat. OK, 
Okay, so, so far we have roots, stem, leaf, or if it's more than one, leaves, flower. There's one more thing that we could have on our plants. Not every plant has them, but sometimes they grow on plants and we can eat them. Excellent. Prow has said fruits. So sometimes we can have types of plants that will do things like bananas, apples, or small things like berries. Now, how do we spell fruits, guys? F R U I T S. Now, not all plants will have fruits, only certain types of plants. But I put them on here to show that if you see a plant with fruits on, it is possible too. So one final time all together. The part of the plant that goes into the soil? Roots. The main part of the plant that's like a skeleton? Stem. The pretty part of the plant that has lots of colours? Flower. The green part of the plant that collects the water? Leaf or leaves, and then the other things that can grow that we can eat, fruits. And these are all our different parts of the plant. Excellent guys, very well done. <laughs> what we're going to do today, we're going to continue looking at plants, but we're going to look at two different type of plants. And I'll show you one particular part here. What part is this guys? Flower. Now plants that have flowers, we call flowering plants. Yes, and then, unsurprisingly, plants that don't grow flowers, we call non-flowering plants. Yes, and we're going to look at the differences and different types of flowering and non-flowering plants. So let's all turn to have a look at our PowerPoint presentation, guys about different types of plants. And now let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, classification of plants. And we'll be using two main classifications, flowering and non-flowering. We can classify plants into two main categories. Flowering, flowering and non-flowering. Non so let's see guys, here we have two pictures. In this picture here on the left, do we think flowering or non-flowering? Flowering. flowering, yes. You can see the pretty colours. The pretty colours is usually a good indication of flowers. Because plants usually are green but the flowers will be different colours. What colours can you see here, guys? Pink, Pink. white, white. yellow, green. green is the plant, yes. And how about the insides of the pink flower? Red. So you can usually tell flowering plants by colours. Well, look at the non-flowering plants. What colours can you see? Green. green. Usually only green, maybe sometimes brown. But you can see the difference between the flowering, non-flowering. Non-flowering plants are plants that do not produce flowers. They produce spores or cones. For reproduction. Yes, they still need to reproduce, but rather than have flowers and fruits, here, this is a non-flowering plant that has spores. Spores. Yes, you see these small round things on the leaves? Spores. And here, on this non-flowering plant, 
cones. Yes. So non-flowering plants don't have flowers, but they sometimes have other things. Spores. Cones. Other non-flowering plants include mosses, which are very small and have no real roots. Yes, you see all of the green in this picture here at the front? This is what we call moss. It's a, yes, it's a type of non-flowering plant. And it doesn't grow very tall. But in the background, if you look closely, you can see flowers. So here in the front is the moss, non-flowering. But then in the background, we have flowers. Okay, guys? Ferns are non-flowering plants that reproduce by spores. Yes, remember them round little things that we've seen before? That's what ferns have. Ferns have been on earth for millions of years. Who can guess how many million years do they think ferns have been here for? Any guesses? Higher. 350 million years. They were around when the dinosaurs were here. Dinosaurs used to eat them. Conifers are non flowering plants that are identified, identified by their sharp leaves. Yes, if we go near conifers, we have to be careful because their leaves are sharp and if we touch them, they might hurt us. Conifers have cones, have cones to reproduce. Now, flowering plants. And you can see the difference straight away. Look how much more pretty a flowering plant is because of the colours. What colours can we see, guys? Yellow, red, and green too. And if, and if you look on this flowering plant too, in the middle, there's something else. What can we see here? Red. Fruit. Fruit, yes, we've got our fruit on this flowering plant. Not all have them, but some do. So flowering plants are plants that have flowers. The flowers produce fruits and seeds. So let's take a look at some examples. Anybody know this flower or this plant? Tomato plant, yes. A tomato plant is a flowering plant that produces fruits and seeds. So you can see here we have the tomato. Now, did you think tomato, fruit or vegetable? Yes, tomato is a fruit because it grows on the plant. People think tomato is a vegetable. Tomato is a fruit. And you can see here it grows on the tomato plant. And what can you see inside the tomato, guys? The small little things. No, seeds. Fruits have seeds too. So next time somebody asks tomato, fruit or vegetable, you can tell them fruit because it grows on a plant and has seeds. Another example, a sunflower plant is a flowering plant that produces 
fruits and seeds. Yes, I like this. I like this. I think it's pretty. Sunflowers are pretty. What colours can you see? Yellow. yellow. Big Brown. yellow leaves. Brown. Brown. Yes. And has anybody ever eaten sunflower yes. seeds? Yes. yes. They're very delicious and good for you too. Now, next one, a pomegranate plant. A pomegranate plant. Very good. Is a flowering plant that produces fruits and seeds. Now, has anybody ever eaten a pomegranate before? Yes. Well, you notice how with a pomegranate you have to open, like in the picture here, and then we have all the little seeds. And we can use a spoon or a pin to pick them out and eat them. So another example of a flowering plant. Flowering plants produce flowers of many different sizes and colours. Yes, guys. Which do you like best? Flowering plants or non-flowering? Why? They look prettier. They're beautiful. Well done, Lakau. Any questions, guys? Okay, well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the video and the PowerPoint demonstration of how we can classify plants into two main groups. Flowering, that produce flowers and fruits, and non-flowering, that don't produce flowers, but produce other things like spores and cones. And we'll be doing an exercise too to, just, to demonstrate our students' knowledge. But now, guys, it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we'll begin with some rotations. Left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Let's have a shake. Arms and legs, shake it out. Okay. Now we'll take our right hand and we'll touch our left foot. Then left hand. Right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Final couple now, right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Excellent, guys. And then have another little shake. Shake it out one more time. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So now we're going to have a flashcards activity so our students can demonstrate their understanding of the difference between flowering plants and non-flowering plants. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off the flash sheets for this lesson and cut each of the plants into individual pictures. And what we're going to do is ask our students to come forward and speak the vocabulary before deciding what category to put it in. So first of all, guys, we need our categories. What do we call flowers that, what do we call plants that have flowers? Flowering plants. So let's have one category here. F, L, O, W, E, R, I, N, G. Flowering. And then plants. P, L, A, N, T, S. Flowering plants. 
Okay, so we've got one category on the board here. So flowering plants will go on this side. And what will go on the next side? What do we call plants that have no flowers? Non-flowering plants. So all we need to do, N-O-N hyphen non-flowering, F-L-O-W-E-R-I-N-G. And then plants. L. A N T S. Excellent, guys. So we've got our two categories on the board now. One more time. Flowering plants. Non flowering plants. So now what we need is our pictures. So I'll ask my students to close their eyes. And when they wake up, one of them will have a picture. They need to speak the name of the plant and put it in the correct category. So let's begin. Okay, so let's see who can go first. I think Lakau is the student with the first picture. So Lakau, can you come and show your friends your picture first? What can you see, guys? Tomato, tomato plant. So what do we think? Tomato plant, flowering or non-flowering? Flowering, yes. Excellent, Lakau. And why do we think it's flowering? Because it produces either flowers or fruits. So that's why we say tomato plant, flowering plant. Lakau, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Lakau. Okay, so now onto our next picture and our next student. Okay, let's open our eyes. Now, who has the picture? Prel, can you come and join me at the front, please? And have a look at your picture and show it to your friends. So what can we see here, guys? What's the name of our plant? Conifer. Conifer. Now, do we think conifer is a flowering? Why? Why do you say non-flowering? Exactly, and you can see hardly any colour. So we can say conifer, non-flowering. Well, that's excellent. One more time. Conifers, non-flowering plants. Perfect. High five. Big round of applause for Frel. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and do the same activity with your own students. And remember, choose a different student each time and have them all practice speaking the vocabulary. And we're going to carry on playing here. So let's see who's next. Okay, now it's Bang Bond's turn to come and show his flash picture. And we have to decide what type of plant we have. So first thing, Pang Pong, can you show your friends? What can we see here, guys? Mosses. Now what colour can you see? Only green. Non-flowering. No fruits, no flowers. So what will we say? Non-flowering plants, excellent. So Pang Pong, anywhere there, that's perfect. Yes, and can we say mosses, mosses. non-flowering plants? Non yes, and Pang Pon has just rightly said in the background there's some flowers behind the moss. The moss is all the stuff in the front here. So Pang Pon, very well done. High five, big round of applause for Pang Pon. Okay. Next student, next picture. Now it's time for our next student down to bring her picture forward. And let's see what we can see, guys. So down, have a look yourself and then show your friends. What can we see, guys? What type of plant? Lotus plant. Now these plants are types of plants we can see a lot in Thailand. 
And do we think the lotus plant is flowering or non-flowering? Flowering. Flowering, yes, you can see the colours on the lotus plant. So Dan, where will you put your picture? Perfect. And we can say together, lotus plant, lotus plant. flowering plant. Excellent. Well done, Dan. Big round of applause for Dan. Now it's Ned's turn to show us his picture. So, Ned, can you come to the front, please? And show your friends your picture. Excellent. And what do we have here, guys? What type of plant can we see? Fern plant. Now, what colour can you see? Any other colours? No. So what do we think? Excellent. You can start to see now non-flowering plants usually only have one colour or maybe little bits of brown. But Net, that's excellent. Can you say fern plant? Non-flowering. Net, that's excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Net. Now it's Nadia's turn. Nadia, can you bring your picture forward, please? Okay. So what type of plant can we see, guys? Sun. Sunflower plant. So listen carefully. Sunflower plant. The clue is in the name. Flowering or non-flowering? Flowering. Yes. And you can also see the pretty colours. So that tells us, Nadia, what part of the board? Yes. All together, sunflower plant. Flowering plant. Yes, Nadia, very good. High five, big round of applause for Nadia. And now it's Pat's turn to show us his flash picture. So, Pat, can you come to the front of class, please? Excellent. And can you show your friends? Now, remember this one, guys, from the PowerPoint. Hard to say. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Plant. Yeah. Now, pomegranate is a type of fruit. So, what side of the board will we put pomegranate plant on? Flower. Flowering plant is right, Pat Bung. So, Pat, anyway, he is fine. Excellent. And we can say, pomegranate plant is a flowering plant because it produces fruit. Pat, that was excellent. Well done. Round of applause for Pat. And we have one more picture. So let's see who can do this one. Okay. Now, the final picture is with Pak Bung. Pak Bung, can you come and show your friends your picture? Now what can we see here? Do you know this type of plant? It's called a cactus. cactus. Cactus plant. These are the plants that have all the spiky things on them that we can't touch. Now have a look closely and what do you think? Flowering or none? Think again. Cactuses have little, see the spikes that come on the outside? Flowering plants, yes. But that one was a bit of a trick question because people think cactus, no flowers. But actually, we can say cactus plant is a flowering plant. Excellent. Pak Bung, high five, big round of applause. And now we've got all our vocabulary on the board. We'll practice speaking one final time. So first of all, flowering plants, flowering plants. cactus plants, plant. tomato plants, plant. lotus plants, plant. sunflower plants, plant. pomegranate plants. Plant. Now what's the one thing you can notice in all the flowering plants, guys? Colours. 
colors, yes. Even the cactus, if you look closely, there's different colors on the inside. Nothing like our non-flowering plants. Where we have mosses, conifers, and ferns. They're all one color, green and little bits of brown because they have no flowers and no fruits. So that was excellent, very well done. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, what you need to do is print off a worksheet for each student in your class. And for this activity, our students must tell the story of how we can plant and grow our own plants. So what we have, we have pictures that represent the words in the word box. And what our students need to do is decide which word fits each picture best and then carry on to tell the story. So guys, we have sun, water, pot, soil, seeds, hole, finger, plant. So look at the pictures and decide which word matches each picture best and then write that word next to the picture and that will complete the sentence. So what's the first thing to do? Names on top. And give our students around 10 minutes to complete this activity. So Chu, this one's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Akbun, you're welcome. You. Nadia, you're welcome. Ned, for you. You're welcome. And Dan, this one's for you. Bangpon, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Prel, you're welcome. And then Lakau. So guys, names on top first, then look at the picture. First picture, the dirty stuff that we have to put our plants inside. What do we call it? Soil. Excellent. So our first word, soil. Place some soil. And then the second picture is the thing that we put our plants into. It begins with P. Plant pot. The things, the containers that we use to put in our plants inside is called a pot. P-O-T. Plant pot. Yes. Place some soil into a pot. And then we have to make a... What do we make? Plant. No, what do we make if we dig? Begins with H. If we dig, we dig a hole. Yes, we need a hole to put our plant in for it to go into the soil. But what do we make our hole with? What's this, guys? <laughs> Finger! <laughs> we can make a hole with our Finger. F. F. I. N. G. E. R. Okay, now. So, first one place some soil into a pot. And then make a. If we dig, if we have to dig into the ground, what do we make? Hole. Make a hole. Excellent. That's correct. And then drop some. What are the things we use to grow plants, guys? Before they are plants, the little seeds. Yes, we plant seeds for them to grow. Damn, that's excellent. Perfect. Well done. Some. Seeds. A. E. C. S. Into the. Into the hole. Hole. 
And if you want to plant your own seeds, guys, this tells you how to do it. Cover the seeds with more soil. So now, before we have our plants, we need to put the little things into the soil. And they are called seeds. Yes. S E E T S. G, G, finger, F-I-N-G-E-R. Okay. Place. Place some soil. Into. Into a pot. Make a hole. Hole. With. Your. Your finger. That. Drop. Drop. Some. Seeds. seeds into the hole, cover the seed with soil, pour water into the pot, pot. give your seed that lots of fun with for your new plant to, to grow. grow perfect well done guys welcome back to class we hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to place the correct words according to the pictures to form the sentences and we're going to practice speaking one final time now so all together guys place some soil into a pot make a hole with your finger. Drop some seeds into the hole. Cover the seeds with soil. Pour water into the pot. Give your seeds lots of sun. Wait for your new plant to grow. So now, if you want to grow your own plants at home, you can do so following these steps. So excellent, guys. Very well done. And that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and found it interesting. And we'll see you again soon for the next one. So can we all turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you next time.